Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, hi. I mostly do art and review videos here. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Cliff Studio Paint. In today's video, I'm gonna make a tutorial on how I do my backgrounds on Cliff Studio Paint. I'm also gonna talk about new brushes I use for my sketches and my coloring. So when it comes to my backgrounds, I like to use so many brushes from Clip Studio Assets. I like to make my backgrounds have more of a cutesy look. And if the character is dark, I just do something similar to this drawing I did while ago as a commission. And so for this drawing of my LC Yuki, I'll use more of a traditional Japanese themed brushes that I also got from Clip Studio Assets. I'll link them in my description below. I usually don't have an actual idea of what background I want to make So I just take brushes and test them out with the character to see what fits her better The same goes with the colors I like to see multiple choices And sometimes I just like two colors so I just save two images <laughs> For the base of the background, I like to use the gradient tool. I start with the black and white color, then I go to edit, tonal correction, then I choose gradient map. That will show me multiple options for colors. I also downloaded these from Cool Studio Assets. I'll link them down below. I keep on doing to see a result I'd like, or I just simply start using brushes and test them out on the background. So for this background, I wanted to make it a Japanese theme background. So I started with a circle with the selection tool to see how it goes the character. And I also added the brushes which resembles some clouds at the background. But I also wanted to choose another background to see how it fits the um, theme. I also added some other brushes around the clouds see how it goes and I also tested some other brushes to see which is better so I changed my mind I used this one because it fits the Japanese theme more than the previous one because this looks more styled other than the natural looking um, clouds and I also wanted to add more to the background because I wanted to add more details so I had an idea of making some scroll like a background of scroll but I was trying to see how it goes with the background so I made a new layer to fill it with this color and I didn't like the result that much so I deleted it <laughs> and tried to make like some kind of doors like that so I copied the lines and pasted them on the left and the right and made, made sure that they are perfect even if I zoom in <laughs> and then I copied that and pasted it to the other side I also needed to perfect it at the bottom <laughs> and position the circle like that and tried other um, layer modes to see how it goes then I added more of a gradient tool around it and I added some white outline but I didn't like it that much so I deleted it dark shade at the top and then added some flower at the top And then went to edit, tonal correction, and hue, and see how it goes with the background. Use the erasal tool to erase just a bit with a soft brush. I also added a new layer, set it to overlay, and then added more to the colors of the um, flowers at the top. I also added a new layer and overlay to add more glow at the background, just a bit. With the circle I did. I also erased a bit of the lines to look much cleaner. I also had an idea of adding more um, more to the background at the bottom so I did this. 
So I'm here trying some brushes to see how it goes with the character. Like these traditional Japanese um, buttons. I was here searching for a cloud button, this one, to see how it fits the background. And then I added more shadows and I wanted to merge the layers. Can press Ctrl Shift E to merge them all. And then I went to tonal correction and then played around with the settings a bit to see what colors I like the most. It's mostly like playing around with the brushes and the colors you have. And yeah, that's how I make my backgrounds. It's easy and fun, but sometimes I just don't know what to do and that's why it takes more time than usual. Because I just like throw brushes there and see how it goes. I also made a paint tool side brush on Clip Studio Paint for me to sketch with or line with. And I also made my water tool on paint tool side to Clip Studio Paint. You can find them in my coffee shop if you are interested. That's the video for today and thank you for watching. Bye bye.